you have just been tuned into the street session with your boy for us and Joe MK. Yes, 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 and you know what? This is one of my favorite interviews because you know I always talk about talking about artists that I believe aren't the normality to our channel and you know with with this act that we got right here it's definitely right up there with someone who's super talented but you may not have heard it if you listen to our platform so to talk to this person is really exciting and I got funky and a two-tone baby right here with us right up yeah very nice to meet you all how's it going yeah I'm good I'm good and you know what let's start off with just casually how has the festival been for you so far amazing I mean I've only been here about an hour but the vibe is real nice. It's yeah. been amazing to see all the kids doing the skating as well. I've not seen anyone do a nose bone melon off the half pipe yet, but I'm <laughs> waiting for it. I feel like we're all waiting for it, to be fair. <laughs> and obviously, um, you know, when you come to a festival like this, it's, like, it's a very tight-knit festival. Um, as the performer yourself, like, what is it that you're looking for from the audiences when performing at a festival like this? So I'm a bit of a kind of unique one in this. I do quite a unique act. It's quite explosive. Yeah. And what I tend to find is that audiences kind of look a bit gobsmacked for about three songs. Yeah. And then they start getting into it and then they start dancing and screaming and singing along. And that's it. It's uh, the shock factor is what I love about an audience. Yeah. No, I think that's sick. And, you know, I feel like a lot of people who may just find out about you today won't know that, you know, you got you got an Orton tour coming up yeah. in, in 2022. And talk to us about a little bit about that and you know also like you know why did you pick autumn to do that tour so i tend to gig in i tend to tour in the spring and autumn uh, i've just come off the back of a tour with a band called the dutty moonshine big yeah. band yeah, yeah, who are yeah, yeah two mcs heavy dance big brass band and that was yeah. fantastic and they must have put me in front of about ten thousand people all over the tour yeah. so doing this way in autumn hopefully capitalize off the back of that i've got a very nice festival season coming up mm. just just done isla white got my yeah. first ever main stage at a major festival yeah. so hopefully to capitalize off the That's rest of that yeah and i want to talk about that like you know being a performer being on stage being an artist as well um where did you get your stage presence from like where did you find yourself on stage was that from years ago potentially doing open mics or you know you know doing uh, or even headlining smaller shows like where did that like kind of presence come from because you know you're a very good performer and you're somebody who i feel and i, I, was, I always talk to the cameraman we come from a more hip-hop background so when i see performers who do things that i'm like whoa I do not see that happening in my in, in my culture of music. Like, where does that come from for you? It's something uh, I so I started out doing the open mic nights, but then that went on to doing pub gigs. Yeah. And they're real hard. A pub gig is the hardest form of gig because you're playing to a load of people who potentially don't want to be there. <laughs> so you <laughs> so so you've got to win them over. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah, that yeah. level of uh, boisterous. Yeah getting further out yourself it yeah. really kind of helps and i've always been one yeah. for kind of climbing on tables and like getting yeah, out into the yeah. audience yeah. and the bigger i've got the more stage you have to do that kind of stuff you get more yeah. barriers to jump yeah, off you get more yeah, stuff yeah, yeah, and uh yeah. the more excited more energetic you are about it the more the audience buy into course, it if you yeah. stand there looking miserable no one's gonna no one's gonna buy into it yeah, literally. and the other other side of that is it's fun yeah. it's so fun it's being so a musician fun, being yeah. on stage and playing something yeah. fucking banging why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't, why wouldn't you exactly. get into it? Exactly. And you know, I want to talk about it because, you know, during lockdown, everybody was either finding a new hobby, um, carrying on their hobbies, or something to keep them going, right? Now, I read somewhere that you wrote a whole damn album. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh,